Yo, and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. Today is Wednesday, and tomorrow's opening day, which is going to be awesome. But I wanted to come on here. It's been 10 days since I first put out that I was, you know, finally seeing the light, was going to sell some cards, kind of some excess in my collection. It's right here over in this box. Um, I don't know. I want to give you kind of some thoughts 10 days in. Kind of show you some numbers of where I'm at. And yeah, so it's been amazing. Everybody's been absolutely great. I've only had one real screw up where I sent a person the wrong card and I let them keep it because it hadn't sold to anyone else and I resent the card. So overall in the, I think I've had 48, 49 transactions. Uh, I've only screwed one up. So that's, and I made it right. Uh, but I think that's a reasonably good percentage of success. Uh, all the cards have been mailed. So hopefully if you had bought some cards, you have them in your hand already, most likely. Uh, I did mail the last few packages off yesterday, so they won't be arrived yet. But by and large, everybody should have their cards. And again, everybody's been so great at, at complimenting in terms of, hey, thanks, glad to be buying some cards uh love it and nothing but good things to say about everybody in regards to that what has surprised me is what's been selling honestly i mean you can see here i've only sold about a third of the cards i still have lit that means there's two thirds left the spreadsheet will actually be down below it's being updated every time i sell a card so once a card sells it comes off the spreadsheet so Whatever you see on that spreadsheet is still sitting over here in this box. And so I guess I'm kind of surprised at how many cards I haven't sold, honestly. Uh, I thought there would be more people wanting to buy them. I don't know if that's a reflection of what I have them priced at. Um, just, you know, it's not high demand stuff, but the stuff that's been selling has been stuff that I honestly thought would be difficult to sell. So I don't know, it, it's, it's this ever changing dynamic of what is selling, what people want. Some of the mainstream stuff, mainstream stuff that I thought would go quickly is actually still sitting here. Some of the more uh, oddball, weird, non-mainstream stuff has sold. And so that's great. That just means you guys think like me and you like, like to get the weird and the, all that good stuff. Um, so. In terms of where I'm at, I'm, I'm pleased. I mean, I didn't really have any expectations, so I, I'm not either excited or disappointed. I'm just, it is what it is. Uh, but a third of the cards have sold. In fact, let me just show you some of the data so you can see. I will share my screen here. Uh, okay, so you can see here, I've, I've taken out all the names and everything to protect the innocent, but it's really slowed down. Uh, the first couple of days, three or four days were pretty frantic. Uh, I did sell a card today that's not reflected on here, one card, but by and large, you know, all of this stuff is accounted for, you know, um, and it's really slowed down the last few days. If we look at an average, the average ticket, so to speak, is about 140 bucks. So, that's been cool uh, that, yeah, and I've done 49 transactions. My I've sold 265 cards to this point. Uh, the gross amount that I've collected is $6,826. Uh, you take the net of that, which is PayPal fees. And then you also have shipping, which I've spent just over $300 on shipping total for all the orders. And... Yeah, it ends up being so far I've paid about 6% in costs, you know, just total costs. Uh, so I went from 6826 to $6,400. So that's about $418 worth of fees that have been paid. Uh, that just comes out of it. And so I, I try to account for everything because I think it's important if you don't tell the whole story, are you really telling the story at all? Um, I've averaged. $24 per card that I've sold. Obviously, some are more, some are less. And I had hoped to average somewhere around $25 a card. 
And so, so far, so good. Uh, I've been averaging that. Uh, everybody's paid to this point, which is great. So I still have 488 cards left. I still have around a little over $14,000 of value left at this point based on the prices that I have on the spreadsheet. And so, yeah, right now, again, $6,400. Uh, some of that was already paid out, which is why you'll see this. these two numbers for Mike and Julie do not equal 6,400 uh, because I've already given some to Julie basically. But uh, what each of us will, you know, uh, so far, because I'm splitting the money, if you remember, half is going towards my Gehrig purchase or, or another big card purchase, and half is going towards the family. And so it's just kind of split there, Mike and Julie. That's what we we have so far, 10 days in, which again, that's good. I don't I didn't know again, I had no expectations. So that's that's kind of the numbers and where we're at. Uh, as far as what's next, well. I'm planning on keeping the spreadsheet kind of live for the next week or so. Uh, I want to go one more week, uh, give guys an opportunity that, you know, because uh, payday will be Friday, basically, for most people or Monday. And if people were looking at cards and just couldn't, you know, send a list yet because they didn't have the funds or whatever, uh, I'm going to give it about another week. So if you still, I'll put my email in the description below and the spreadsheet. So if it's something you've been wanting to do and you can go shop and, and look at what's there uh, and shoot me an email with what your want list is. And we'll get them pulled for you and get them sent out to you. So another week. And then I will probably start slowly, systematically putting these on eBay. I've been trying to avoid eBay uh, for a, a number of reasons. Number one of which I'd rather you guys get the cards, first of all. And I'd rather not pay eBay as much fees as they charge. And so um, some people have suggested, why don't you do Com C? Like these would be great Com C cards. Maybe uh, that's that's certainly possible. But having to give all these to Com C, you can deliver them at the Dallas show. Um, that's one option. But I just don't like it because getting your money back out of Com C is expensive. And so I'd rather not deal with that. And how long will it take them to actually upload the cards? And then I have to go in and price them all and yada, yada. To me, eBay, it seems like a much simpler solution. Another solution that I will likely participate in is depending on, because I'm not going to sell them all on eBay at once. That's a lot of cards to list. I'm going to do them, you know, 20, 30 a week, something like that is kind of what I'm thinking. Subject to change. Uh, but I'll sell some of them off that way. And then the rest uh, at a Dallas show or something. Uh, I know some buddies that are going to be setting up at future Dallas shows. And maybe I can grab a corner and just stick this box out, price all the cards and stick them out there and see what happens. So, and that's great because that's just cash in hand. That's that's the best way <laughs> to sell cards. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm exploring all options at this point and would love to hear any thoughts that anybody has down below about where I'm at, what I've done. Uh, if you've gotten your cards, put that down below. Uh, would love to hear that. Many of you have already emailed me, but you can throw it down in the comments. And yeah, that's it for this update. I just wanted to tell you guys where we we're at 10 days in. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. That's what I'll say. So thanks everybody so much for watching. Thanks for your support. We'll talk to you soon. Check out the list down below. Keep collecting.